Hey everyone, welcome to IntelliPath's YouTube channel. In today's session, we will be learning about the differences between functional testing and non-functional testing. So before we move on with our live session, please subscribe to our channel. And also if you want upcoming updates, please hit the bell icon and also leave a like if you enjoy our content. Welcome to this video on functional testing versus non-functional testing. Here is the agenda for today's session. In this video, we will be starting with a brief introduction to software testing. Following this, we will discuss the types of software testing that is functional and non-functional testing. After that, we will be comparing functional testing and non-functional testing with prominent differences. Following that, we will discuss the different types of functional testing and non-functional testing. Later on, we will have a glance at different tools used for the testing methods. And finally, we will conclude by gathering insights into courses related to this field. Now let's move on to the introduction to software testing. Software testing. As the name suggests, software testing is nothing but assessing any application or software-based product and conforming that it's devoid of any effects. It involves the execution of the software application or any system component to evaluate different properties of interest. For instance, a company has designed a new gaming application software. This software undergoes the testing process. During the process, it was discovered that the installation setup was inaccurate. Due to software testing, company could resolve this issue even before it was released. In today's world, we all know how important it is to produce verified and bug-free applications. To get such verified products, we need software testing. Software testing also helps us predict the risky elements in the application and helps us to prevent them in the future. Two advantages of software testing include preventing the problems, lowering development costs, and increasing performance. Apart from verification and finding out defects, software testing serves other purposes too. The main objectives of software testing are assess work deliverables like requirements, design, user stories, and code. Ensure that all of the specified requirements are met. Determine if the test object is comprehensive and meet the users and stakeholders expectations. Increase trust in the software's quality level. Ensure that the software product is free of loss. To give stakeholders enough information to make informed decisions, particularly on the application's quality. And finally, lower the risk of insufficient software quality. Now, we'll be getting ahead to the crucial part of the presentation. We'll be discussing the two types of software testing, that is, functional testing and non-functional testing. Functional testing. The purpose of functional testing is to verify the functionality of the software. It mainly focuses on evaluation of the output of a software program by giving acceptable input and comparing it to the functional requirements. It involves understanding the functional requirements, identifying test input data based on requirements, computing the expected outcomes with the test input values and executing the test. Non-functional testing. The purpose of non-functional testing is to verify the non-functional aspects such as performance, reliability, usability, etc. The non-functional testing reduces the risk and expense of manufacturing associated with non-functional parts of the product. It improves and expands your understanding of product behavior and technology. I hope you have got a clear idea of what is functional testing and non-functional testing. Now let's understand the key differences among them. The main focus of functional testing is to ensure that the product of the software is equipped with all the requirements as specified by the end user. The main focus of non-functional testing is to ensure that the product Product or the software satisfies the target customers. Functionality. We'll look at the functionalities of both functional and non-functional testing in this slide. Functional testing describes what a product does. That is, it gives solutions to queries like what functions. Whereas, non-functional testing describes how the product works. That is, it gives solutions to queries like how functions. The basic requirement of functional testing are the functional specifications. Functional specifications are the formal documents that describe a product's expected capabilities, appearance, and interactions with the users in detail. Putting it in simple words, functional specifications will provide you with the formal descriptions of user tasks, dependencies on other products, and usability criteria of the product. Now let's talk about 
the requirements of non functional testing basic requirements in non functional testing are carried out by the performance specifications performance specification outline a components or installations operational requirements keeping it simple a performance specification informs the stakeholder about the capabilities of the final installed product functional testing is used to validate the behavior of the application whereas the performance of application is validated using the non functional testing if you are still confused let me explain you with an example when you enter a web page you end up landing in the login page here comes the role of functional testing functional testing verifies the login details that you have entered if they are valid the non functional testing loads your dashboard quickly we will now understand the testing approaches of both the testing methods functional testing uses the black box testing approach black box testing approach determines the functionality of an application without internal structures or workings after providing input variables to the product this testing approach gives the output empirically white box testing method tests internal structures or working of an application as opposed to its functionality this testing approach provides output based on the internal structure of the product let's discuss the different types of functional testing and non functional testing here are the types of functional testing unit testing if you want the testing to be done on individual software units or components then you're likely to use unit testing smoke testing just a quick info guys if you wish to learn testing and make a career in it then we have a good news for you intellipad provides test architect master course in collaboration with ibm and microsoft the course link of which is given in the description below now let's continue with the session if you want to identify minor loss then you can use the smoke testing smoke testing is done to avoid the flaws that cause the software version to be rejected localization to make sure that your software or product is suitable for a particular location that is adapt to that environment localization is done other types of functional testing are regression testing in case you have to make changes or update your code and you want to see if the software has the same functionalities even after the changes then probably you can use the regression testing interoperability and if you wish to know how your software interacts with its components or other software interoperability will be handy integration testing if you want to integrate the software modules as a unit then you can use the integration testing in user acceptance the end user verifies and accepts the software system before it is moved to the production environment globalization testing ensures that application can be used all over the world and accepts all the language texts here are the types of non functional testing volume testing you can use volume testing if you want to know if your product can perform in the presence of large amounts of data scalability testing if you want to know if your product software application has the capacity to scale up or down in terms of any non functional capability then scalability testing is preferable usability testing to assess the product or service by pulling by putting it through its paces with real world consumers usability testing is done other types of non functional testing are reliability tests testing in case you want to determine if the program can operate without failure or for a set of time in a given environment then probably you can use the reliability testing installation testing ensures that users can install all of the software components and that the procedure isn't too con time consuming or confusing using compliance testing it is possible to see whether a software product conforms to a defined set of internal or external standards before it goes into production during the portability testing we evaluate how easy or difficult it is to move a product from one environment to another in terms of hardware software or operational aspects a disaster recovery test ensures if an organization is capable of recovering data restoring business critical applications and continuing operations following a disruption to its services the performance test aims to measure the speed responsiveness and stability of a computer network software program or device under a load let's discuss about performance testing in the next slide performance testing is considered to be the core of non functional testing as it evaluates the overall performance of software application or product performance testing is a method to determine how fast responsive and stable a computer 
network software application or device is under stress. There are different types of performance testing which include load testing, stress testing, endurance testing and spike testing. We'll go in detail about these types of performance testing in the next slide. Load testing assesses a software application's performance under realistic load situations. Stress testing ensures the system stability and dependability. Endurance testing is performed to see if an application can withstand the processing load it will be subjected to for an extended length of time. Spike testing is a technique for determining how a software program responds to sudden changes in traffic. Let's have a look at various tools used for functional and non-functional testing. One of the most popular tools for functional testing is the Selenium IDE. Selenium IDE is a record or run tool used by the Selenium test case developers to create Selenium test cases. The Selenium IDE is a simple tool from the Selenium test suite that may be used to create automated test cases for web applications. Selenium IDE has various features which can be very useful. For instance, it provides you with optional with an option to automatically record your test cases depending on your browser activities. It allows developers to be more creative while performing test cases. Also, it operates using a large variety of Selenium commands that assist the IDE in determining what needs to be done. It allows the test developers to place breakpoints in order to debug certain test scenarios. We at IntelliPad provide courses on Selenium IDE. Do check out the description for the course link. We'll discuss few more no, uh, functional testing tools. Tricentis Tosca is a simplified end-to-end -end functional testing software that automates tests across all layers of modern enterprise architectures. Test Complete is a powerful testing tool for web, mobile, and desktop testing. It supports various scripting languages such as JavaScript, VBScript, Python, etc. RanRx is an automation tool for web, mobile, and desktop testing. It features advanced capabilities for GUI recognition, reusable test scripts, and recorder playback. Now let's see what are the tools used for non-functional testing. JMeter is one of the most popular tools used for non-functional testing. Apache JMeter is a performance testing tool that may be used to evaluate both static and dynamic resources as well as web dynamic applications. Apache JMeter has the following attributes. It is freely available since it is an open source software. It has an easy to use interface it can be used to load a variety of server types it works on any platform also it supports both swing and lightweight components it performs automated testing of the applications it is highly extensible the other non-functional testing tools are as follows loadster is a load testing tool that uses a cloud hybrid approach to test large-scale applications as well as high performance websites Neoload is a robust testing software for web and mobile app that simulates huge numbers of users accurately when analyzing server activity. Load Runner is a micro-focus tool that can simulate a large number of users all at once. Just a quick info guys. If you wish to learn testing and make a career in it, then we have a good news for you. IntelliPad provides Test Architect Master course in collaboration with IBM and Microsoft. The course link of which is given in the description below. So guys, we have come to the end of our session. I hope you all enjoyed it. For any questions that you have related to coding, you can mention it in the comment sections below. So thank you so much for attending this session and meet you in another session.